Hi there, Cancer. How are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Anissa, from the Eater Stereo. This is going to be your love messages. It's a general reading, so the rules might get reversed, or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for a personal reading with me, okay? How are you guys, Cancer, doing? I'm a Cancer rising and Cancer moon myself. July has been pretty, uh, but we'll see. We'll see, okay? Let's see. This is you versus them format, past, present, future from both parties, and we're going to clarify them. And I'm also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session. Okay. Ugh. Overall theme for the math. This is interesting. This is interesting. Very interesting. Overall theme for the reading. You have the world. What challenges you is the Knight of Swords. There's one, there's a little bit of a communication or miscommunication problem within this connection, and I think one of the few key points that both of you are seemingly very difficult to achieve is a peace of mind, okay? <laughs> In the past, you have the Page of Swords and also the Six of Pentacles. From their side, they have the Three of Cups in reverse and also the Three of Swords. Best belief, this cancer, okay? Best belief, whatever it is that this person was doing in the past, they hurt themselves more than they hurt you, okay? So if you're in this mind space, mindset or if you're in this space of like asking like why do they hurt me and everything like that no what they did hurt them more than it did hurt you okay and you need to understand that because i think whatever happened in the past it led you to a point where you begin to become a bit smarter okay because again the overall the theme of the reading is a completion the world Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean the ending of something. It means the ending of something that is old. I see a shedding of the old skin simply because I feel that in the past, you were widening your horizon. You were increasing in knowledge. And not only that, I feel that you had a destination in which you want to go to in terms of life. And I feel that you were starting to invest your time in knowing full well which directions you want to choose. And you're being guided here. So it's either you started to go to therapy or you started to follow some mentors or you started to follow some coaches or whatever that may be. But you had some guidance or you, you came back to your religion or you came back to your spirituality, whatever that may be. But there is a certain set of instruction that you are were following so that you could you know go to the next phase in life okay that's in the past now in the present moment seven of pentacles and also the eight of ones from this person's side from your side you have the knight of pentacles and you also have the devil um you still do have unwavering devotions and loyalty towards this person but i feel that you're standing still you're not really doing anything about it it's just that i'm here um i still care you know it's not that you don't care you still care but I also see you, I'm going to clarify what this devil entails, okay? Because it could mean that you're now having like a lot of worries, a lot of insecurities when it comes to this connection. Or it could mean that you're trying to control the situation. We're going to clarify in a moment. From this person's side, there are things that this person is wanting to get, communicate with you. But I feel that this person is waiting on doing that. We're going to clarify why. However, Cancer, in the future, I feel that you guys are going to be focusing a lot more on yourself with the Nine of Pentacles here, which means that you're going to be focusing a lot more on your sense of security, on your sense of stability, on your money, on your career, on your routines, and etc. Because that is going to make you feel as if like you've achieved something. Now, the moment that you've glowed, yeah, is the moment where I do see an offer coming through. We're going to clarify in a moment who is this from. Because I feel that you have somebody here in the future who kind of like sees you as somebody who could 
be of a good value for them, okay? Now, let's get into the reading and let's start clarifying it here, Cancer. The overall challenges when it comes to this connection is the Knight of Swords, stagnancy, and again, communication problem. I want to clarify the Seven of Pentacles from this person's side first. Page of Wands, Ten of Wands, and Two of Wands from your side. Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Judgment, the Seven of Swords, and also the Three of Wands. It almost seems to me as if like you're th you think that if you were to make it work with them, to compromise with them, to work together with them, it's like you're self-sabotaging, okay? Because I feel that you're in a crossroad at this present moment, whether you want to, you know, go towards the life that you want, the ideal version of yourself, you know, the, the things that you would like to pursue. So you're kind of like torn, like, where should I go? And it's, it's, it seems to me as if like working or collaborating with this person, making it work, coming to terms or coming to an agreement with this person is sabotaging so it, it it can it can be either or you have to choose i don't know why it's happening in your mind we're going to clarify we're going to see later on this reading so seven of pentacles clarified by the page of wands the ten of wands and also the two of wands it's not as if like this person is oblivious to what is it exactly that you're expecting this person to do they're not okay they're not why is the weight? Why is there stagnancy? Why is this person not doing anything? A lot of that has a lot to do because of two things, okay? Two things only. One is because they need to feel excited to do that. They need to feel playful to do that. And second of all, this person still wants to have their own independence and they still have wanting to have their own freedom. Page of Wands is an energy similar to somebody who had been in prison for, let's say, for instance, a decade, and then they just got out of a prison. You know, when you just got out of a prison, when you've been in prison for 10 years, like you'd be like, wow, like this is the world. I kind of like wants to try out this new place. I kind of like wants to experience things and everything like that. And I don't know what it is about you two that kind of have this perception that if I were to be with them or if I were to be working together with them, it means that I'm going to sacrifice something. Like I can't be the both. Like they feel that they can be playful, independent, um, and be themselves if they're with you. For you, you feel that you cannot move forward. You cannot progress in life if you're still compromising with them. So it's like, it kind of like is a similar energy, to be honest with you. But let's see. <laughs> I'm going to clarify this eight of wands from their side and the devil from your side. Okay, so you want commitment. You want you and them to be on the same page, right? You feel that you're ready to be on the same page, but are you? Because the way that I see it here, again, as I said, it's like deeper if you, if, like, if you're honest with yourself, there is that self talk that you've been doing to yourself that if I am still with this person, it means that I'm not progressing. And there is this blockage, it's like, I can't progress with this person. And that is a question that you need to answer. Why can't you progress with this person? Is it because they are not, because a relationship is between two people, right? There's no way in hell that a relationship is going to work with only one person working, right? So maybe it could be that way. Maybe you feel that this person is not willing to put in the work. It could be those kind of things. But what you truly desire is you want this person to be on the same page with you. You want things to keep moving. You want them to be on the same page. You want some sort of a, a, a certain degree of commitment or agreement with them. But again, with the Hierophant, there's always two people on the same page. Okay, maybe you want to get married or you, maybe you want to be in a relationship with them or maybe you want them to be more committed. You just want this person to be on the same page. Okay? But a question that you need to ask yourself is that if they're on the same page, let's say they're on the same page, would you still have this feeling that, you know, working together with them, compromising with them means that you're sabotaging yourself from the things that you think you could achieve? 
Okay, because there's going to be a conflict there um, within you if that were to happen, okay? Now, the Eight of Wands, did I clarify? Oh, yeah, Eight of Wands, clarify about the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and also the Page of Cups. Now, again, as I said, does this person know what you want? They do, okay? They want, they know that you want to have at least a seed of something stable with them. Ace of Pentacles is a brick that you put because it's like building a house, right? It's brick by brick. But you sh you just put one freaking brick just to know that we're going to build a house. You know what I mean? And they know that you want that from them, okay? But again, there's this sense of weight. There's a sense of like them struggling or them still thinking of like, I want that with cancer, but I'm just going to wait and see, okay? <clears throat> now let's clarify the future. Feel that because of this stagnancy, you're going to reach a point where you're going to snap out of it, where you're going to be like, like this, you know, I'm just going to shine. I'm going to glow. I'm going to, it's, it's giving me the energy of like, my heart is broken. Now I'm going to be a CEO. <laughs> kind of like that. But it's like, I have too much anger. I have too much disappointment in me. And also at the same time, there's something here about you missing your old self. I don't know why. Okay. And you kind of like wants to see your old self back again. So that is going to push you to really pursue things on a practical matter. Again, as I said, it's either you're going to work a little harder. You're going to do your business a little harder. You're going to beautify yourself and et cetera. Nine of Pentacles means that it's all about self. Okay, there's going to be some self-indulgent activity that you guys are going to be um, doing too in the future. Watch out your expenses. But that's that. Now, the moment that you glow is the moment that this person is starting to think that, you know, they're starting to lose their grip on you. Yeah? Because right now, they're like, cancer is going to wait. Okay, I'm still indecisive right now. I'm still wishy-washy right now. And it's okay because there's no sense of urgency for me to act. Okay? There's no sense of urgency for them right now because they feel and they think that you're still waiting, which I find it true. You still, a part of you still waits. Although there's a part of you who's like, I'm going to pursue my future. I'm going to be a better person. I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that. But like, there's a part of you that still waits. Okay? But in the future, there's this sense of urgency, like, oh my God, like the energy, because here's the thing, I'm a Cancer rising and a Cancer moon and a Jupiter in Cancer, okay? So I have three Cancer placements. I could be more of a Cancer than you are. <laughs> Kidding. But our love is felt, you know, Cancerian love is felt because it feels, it feels very motherly. It feels, regardless of the gender, it feels very motherly. It feels very nurturing. It feels very warm. Now, when you take those things out of somebody, it's felt. Cancers are one of the signs that whose absence is very felt. And I, I can say this because I had um, cancer acts too. His absence was very felt, you know, by me. So your warmth is no longer there. They feel it. There's going to be a sense of urgency. The warmth, the love, the nurture the motherly loving nature that you guys have, you're going to be focused, uh, you're going to be directing it onto yourself and they felt it. They feel the absence in the future. And that is going to create some sort of urgency from this person of like thinking from another perspective. Because I'm not going to lie with you here, Cancer, is that this person isn't really thinking of it from your perspective. Page of Fonts is a very I energy, right? It's a very like, because I am like this, because I still want this. I still, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But they're not, but they're not taking into account your experience. They're not taking into account, you know, how you feel about things, like why you act in a certain type of way, why you feel that way. They don't think of that. There's going to be a moment in the future where this person is finally empathizing, where this person is finally trying to see it from your perspective. Okay. <clears throat>
Okay, let's clarify the Two of Cups and the Six of Wands in the future. <laughs> Ooh, how the tables will turn, Cancer. Because, again, I, and I think I know why, because Cancer loves hard, yeah? Cancer, you guys love really hard in a way that it's all or nothing. It's either I'm all in or I'm all out, correct? So, and now I'm starting to understand why you feel that conflict of like, you feel that if you're with this person, you're not going to be able to uh, focus on yourself and your goal is because of that, that that notion of I'm all in or I'm all out and there's never a half, you don't half-ass things, you don't half-ass love, you don't half-ass relationship. So when you started to direct those love, everything that you've given to this person, to yourself, you became all out and you became, you, you started to have trust issues you start to go back to your shell and that's what cancer does when they got hurt and i know that you know i'm a cancer moon so i know like once you got hurt like you go back to your shell and it's hard for you to get out so you start building walls and walls and walls those walls are your safety those walls are what keeps you safe because your emotions run deep when you get hurt it's so hurtful. So you needed to build that wall. And I see that in the future. I started seeing it now, actually. Like you start to build those walls. But it's going to multiply by maybe a hundred in the future where you're like nine of wands. Like, I'm not sure I want to do this with you again, you know? Like if I were to be giving this love another chance, what is the guarantee of it not going to be as hurtful as it was in the past? So... When they come back around and starting to offer you the very thing that you're expecting of them to do right now, there's probably going to be this, why now? Why now? Well, why now that I started to not care? Why now when I started to focus a lot more on myself now that you're giving me what I crave, what I wanted, what made me crazy in the past and in the present. There's an ending here, a full total completion, a table turning fully. What you wanted is coming in the future, but you may not want it again in the future. Very interesting. <coughs> and even if you were to be letting this person in, this person would need to climb those walls that you've built, and it's so high. It's so high. Let's pull some advice card for you here, Cancer. Emperor, Page of Wands. Mm. But what you're doing is correct. That's what the advice here is saying. Because I feel that you've been focused so much on people. You know, just remember your life. Have you been living for yourself or have you been living for someone else? That's the first thing. Have you this past few months or this past few years that you're with this person have you been truly loving yourself the way that you should or you've been compromising adapting enabling building your life around someone else i think you might have a bit of what i would call an identity crisis where you don't really know who you are and what you want and everything like that and with the emperor as the first advice card is like, no, 
in order for you to be happy in love in a relationship you got to know you got to be happy yourself first so another person is not what completes you but it's just an additional component in your life that you want to be with you know it doesn't define you it doesn't define your day it doesn't define your mood it doesn't define your career it doesn't define anything you define yourself and you find another person that you know is a good companion for you so yeah focus on you emperor i think you need that and sometimes it might require to leave behind the very thing that is very difficult for us to say goodbye to i feel that other than this person that you're having a difficult time to say goodbye to there might be some habit or there might be some comfort or some addiction for some of you that you also need to leave behind too because the more that you the more that you entertain it the more that you are okay with living with just like the things that are familiar and comforting with you the more that less likely you're going to find who you are as a person and the more less likely that you're going to be finding your wish fulfillment the star card for me is all about unique unique selling proportion everybody in this you in this universe is unique you have your own tunes you have your own voice you have your own melody you know you have your own inner stereo and i feel that you haven't been finding who you are as a core and there is a big push from the universe here to start finding who is who is you who are you cancer who are you what is the sound in your soul that you make what does your soul sing what does your soul need what is your life purpose not attached to someone else, not attached to someone else's expectations, not attached to, you know, what society wants you to become, not attached to what your parents wants you to become. What are you? Who you are? Find your voice, okay? So I think that is it from writing for you here, Cancer. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you guys have been looking for. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.